Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about using FFmpeg to take this sequence of images and turn them into a video file which has the MJPEG or Motion JPEG uh, codec. So this will be a lossless process. And then after we get the video file, I'm going to take that and extract the images back out of that. And I'm going to show how to do all the images and one at a time. So I have a bunch of other videos on FFmpeg. I'll put a link to the playlist of those below. And in that playlist, there is one on taking an image sequence from a GoPro and turning it into an uh, MP4 video, if that's something you're interested. But this is a full lossless process I'm talking about today. So I have this folder, Beach, and inside I have all these images. So I'll go over to my terminal and I'll type FFmpeg space dash frame rate space 30 space dash pattern underscore type space glob space dash i space quote each forward slash star dot jpg quote space dash codec space copy space out dot mkv so I'll hit enter and this will extract the images and I'll put a link in the description of my website with what I'm typing in here so you don't have to copy it off the screen. Um, so if we go here now, we have this out.mkv. So we can type FF play and try and play this. But um, in my experience, my computer hasn't, um, doesn't have the power to play this file. And the reason is, is this is a 4000 by 3000 pixel um, JPEG. So um, motion JPEG file. So really what I'd use this for would be for like archiving since I have all these images, say I want to keep these around, um, they're only for a time lapse, I can store them as this MKV file that are in there and then I can take them back out later if I need to. So next what we want to do is extract all these. So I'll clear my screen here and I'll type MKDIR space beach underscore copy. So I'll make a new folder, clear that. And then I'll type FFmpeg space dash i space and then our mkv file so out.mkv and then space dash v codec space copy space and then we'll type beach underscore copy forward slash and then pick and then percent sign d dot jpg so this will create an image sequence with pick and then it'll um, count the numbers so I'll hit enter here and since this is lossless, this is pretty fast. It's, you know, 4.8x speed. So if we look here, we have pick one, two, three, okay. And we have the same thing under beach. It's, it's named differently, but it's the same kind of sequence. So what we can do is we can take the first image of both of these and we can run MD5 on it. So that'll give us a hash. We'll run on both of these and we can see that these match up. See, they both have the same hash. So the JPEG that we put in the video file is the same JPEG we got out. So I don't know if there's a situation where this would strip like metadata related to your JPEG. Um, that's something to consider, but you know, you'd wanna test this um, if you were actually were archiving uh, JPEGs this way. So you can also extract a single image. So if we type FFmpeg space dash SS, space and then zero zero colon zero zero colon zero zero dot zero three so this is um, hours minutes seconds and then milliseconds so since i'm at 30 frames per second 0.03 is uh, the first frame unfortunately you can't just say frame one in here you have to put the time in so uh, 03 is frame one and then I think it would be 06 is frame two, if I'm thinking correctly. So this should extract the first frame. We'll type I for input is out.mkv space dash V frames, space one, space dash codec, space copy, space, and then we'll call that output.jpg. So now if we type MD5 output.jpg, well, see, this has the same hash as the first somewhere up there. I had them, <laughs> see, as the other files. So this was the first file we extracted. So you can extract any single file. This isn't super convenient because you have to put in hours, minutes, second. You can't just say, um, like if you're looking at this image sequence here, 
if you want, you know, pick 46, so the 46th frame, you have to calculate out what that's going to look like um, in hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So it's not the most convenient thing. It may be easier just to export all the frames out and then pick the one you need. So, so that's how you take an image sequence, turn it into a movie, and then output that again to JPEGs, all completely losslessly. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.